If you are a fitness coach who offers workout programs, you're gonna wanna watch this video because I'm going to map out a full funnel for you and walk you through step by step. Now, as a funnel expert, one of the things that I get to do is analyze people's funnels, which also means I have worked with a lot of fitness coaches. And the funnel that I am about to show you on my computer is the funnel that works time and time again. So let's head on over to my computer where I will walk you through step by step the best funnel if you are that fitness coach. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through this funnel map for somebody who is a fitness coach and they're selling, whether it's workout programs, nutrition programs, you have some form of a program that is a lower ticket item um, and that is where the entry point essentially is of your funnel. So before um, you get overwhelmed by this, we're gonna just really break this up. When you have a business to consumer, a B2C business model, you are generally needing to start from a low ticket into a high ticket. So the same would go for a fitness coach. They would have to start at a lower price point and work their way up because we want to build that credibility and we want to build that relationship with your new lead or client. Now it's not to say that somebody cannot go directly to your higher ticket items or your programs. From my experience, however, this seems to work the best. So what we would do here is that we would actually initiate from a quiz because your clientele can be so variable. Maybe they have access to a gym, maybe they don't. Now, unless you've niched all the way down and you rule out that they just do not work out from home, you can have that. But generally speaking, there's gonna be some base level that we need our clients. And then therefore you're gonna have different programs based on maybe their goals um, or what they have available to them. So that's why having a quiz is really great. You can determine exactly which program will fit for which client. Again, based on my experience, a quiz tends to work the best, especially for fitness coaches. So when they would fill out the quiz, they would come to their answer. And the answer being which program would better suit for them. So you can go, as soon as they get their answer, they can go directly and purchase say program A for answer one, or they can just decide obviously not to purchase and continue on. In order to fill out the quiz, I would make sure that you have an opt-in at some point uh, before they get their answer. Some quizzes you can create an opt-in in order to receive their answer. That's when the opt-in goes. But again, in this scenario, I'd actually uh, encourage you to have the opt-in before they even start the quiz. Now keep in mind, the journey downwards is gonna be the same regardless what answer. The thing that we're changing is the program and maybe the verbiage that we're using to really cater to that clientele. So now let's work through this customer journey. So they come to the answer and let's say that they decide, yes, this is the program I want to purchase. At this point in time, I would have a one-time offer. One-time offer meaning that literally they can purchase this now or never. So in this situation that I drew out, I have the signature product or signature offer at a one-time offer. So meaning this is a, um, maybe exclusive membership, an exclusive deal. There's something that is the one time. There's something about this that can classify it as that one time offer. At that point in time, let's say they do uh, take you up on the one time offer, we would have a one click upsell as well. And this could actually be, um, perhaps it's the next program, program B, or maybe it's an upgraded version of your signature product. Now I did put the word test here because what comes first, whether it's the signature product, whether it's the um, upgraded version or the other program, we need to test out which one should be first. One way that you can test it is just by asking your previous clients and or surveying our audience. So if they purchase the program, we would obviously start the program onboarding process. We would add them to our newsletter. And at this point in time, over a few days, over a few emails, we would work on getting them into the signature product. Now, obviously if they started this program, we, and they have not decided to enroll into your signature product, we need some time to lapse so that they do the program. They need to um, see the results, get the benefits of it. So time will, elapse and before you can bring up the signature product again. 
And also we would have an abandoned cart offer. So let's just say that they're like, yes, I want program A and something backs them out. Again, offering that abandoned cart to really rebound their purchase. Now let's say that they get their answer. Um, you tell them what program would work for them, but they decide just not to purchase. At this point in time, this is where you would start your nurture sequence. Now your nurture sequence can be about four to seven days. Um, we would also be adding them to our newsletter at this point. Um, I would actually send the newsletter once you're done that email sequence. So if it's a seven day email sequence, I would add them to the newsletter after that first week or after those first seven days. So then they're not bombarded by um, emails and they get to know you through this initial nurture sequence. Now, what we really want to do is we're actually going to take these people and start promoting or offering the signature product. So we're getting them primed or ready to enroll into the signature product. Now your signature product as a fitness coach, generally speaking, is going to be a little bit more access to you. So whether this is a group coaching program, whether it's a personalized program, doesn't really matter. Either way, your signature product is something that is a lot more access to you, higher ticket, more value. Okay, now we're going to journey our way down to the signature product and the funnel around, I guess, the signature product. So when they come to, say, the sales page of the signature product, they decide to, yes, I want to purchase the signature product. We're going to add that upgraded version. So that upgraded version, again, you get to decide maybe it's an additional nutrition program with the workout program. Maybe it's more uh, sessions with you. You get to decide what that upgraded version looks like. But again, again, whether or not they take you up on that cross sell does not matter. They will still continue down. So if they decide to purchase your signature program, enroll into that, obviously you would start the onboarding process. But before we can upsell them to your highest container, so maybe this is one-to-one -one coaching or like a longer a six month program, year program, whatever that is for you, we need to allow time for those results. We obviously don't wanna sell them something when they're in the middle of a program already. Now let's go through, what if they did not purchase your signature product when you offered it to them? We have a couple journeys here. First, let's go through. They did not purchase the program that was offered from the quiz and they did not purchase your signature product. That's a whole different customer journey here. In that situation, I would actually go back and re-offer the program that was presented to them after they took the course. Because most likely if they haven't taken you up on your signature product over here and they haven't purchased the program, they're probably not going to enroll into the signature product. We're going to wait, work our way backwards up again. So we want to re-offer that program that was offered to them at the very beginning. And if they still did not purchase that, that's when I would provide some kind of freebie resource if you have one. But if they did purchase that program uh, now that was presented earlier, you'd start the program onboarding process. And we go back to really this journey over here where we go back to that signature product and then they can go and work their way downwards from there. Now, the second scenario when they do not purchase the signature product is if they've already purchased your program above. So if they've purchased the program, but did not purchase the signature product, this is when I would offer the first downsell. So this is going to be a downgraded version of this program. Maybe it's a shorter period. Maybe it's a six week boot camp. Maybe it's a done for you workout nutrition program, or a, again, you get to decide this, what this would look like. This is definitely more than what their program they would be doing, but de not as much and not as much access to you if it was the actual, say, group coaching or one-to-one -one coaching. And at this point, if they still decide not to take you up on that downsell, I would send them right back to the freebie, same as over here. But if they do purchase that downgraded program, the downsell, you would start your program onboarding and eventually over time, send them right back to your signature product. Now, one more thing to back up a little bit is our abandoned cart email sequences. So we have to acknowledge that over here with our signature product, that one time offer, that there might have been an abandoned cart with that signature offer. So we would definitely want to be sending them this email sequence and it's most likely going to 
to be a discounted version. You get to choose what that offer is inside of that abandoned cart, but we're only attaching it to when you have the signature product because we don't really need an abandoned cart to the program necessarily. So just remember that whenever we have a checkout, we want to also have an abandoned cart email sequence. So when we present the signature product as a one-time offer up here or down here, we're going to have that uh, abandoned cart email sequence to try to redirect that traffic. Same thing with your program onboarding. Now this is optional if you want to have that abandoned cart offer or not. Uh, the goal again is to have somebody actually finalize that offer. And lastly, the same journey would go for all of your answers, depending on say how many answers, how many programs you have, all of the journey, everything would be exactly the same. You'd literally copy and paste for each answer. We would just change the top part, as I mentioned earlier, and just changing some of that verbiage, really targeting and uh, making it direct to that type of clientele. Now, when it comes to your traffic source and taking that traffic into your funnels, that's where we are going to go from your content and we're really gonna promote your quiz. So in this situation, what I would actually be doing is in my content, I would talk about my programs, answers a one, two, three, whatever. I'd be talking about each of those programs, but subconsciously what we are kind of doing is we're confusing people in a sense of like, oh, this one sounds really good, but this one sounds really good too. Which one is for me? And that's where your quiz would come into play. So I would um, talk about my programs, but I would say to find out which program you should be using, go take my quiz. So that's how we would take, get all that traffic and pour it into this funnel. Again, if I was at fitness coach with programs. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I've worked with a lot of fitness coaches and this funnel that I just showed you is the funnel that works over and over again. When I was working with a fitness coach who offered coaching programs, group coaching programs, boot camps, she came to me feeling very scattered and did not know really how to target or narrow in her selling tactics so that she knew exactly what she was selling when she was selling instead of feeling like she was just throwing noodles at the wall and hoping something would stick and deciding which program she was going to offer when, again, feeling very scattered. After working together, after mapping it all out for her, she now has a funnel that is working that allows her to step away from her business, focus on her clients while still making money in her sleep. If you want either myself or your team to analyze your funnel, making sure that it is converting at the level it should be, that there are no leaks in it, you can get a full funnel analysis by myself. The link to that is below this video. Now, if you're not a fitness coach and you still want me to map out your funnel, you can do two things. First, you're gonna comment below this video what your business model is so that I can create a video just for you or head on over to this video where I I walk you through the basics of a sales funnel.